<laughs> video. Oh, this guy's gonna be very happy if we win this game. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna be on the YouTubes, mama. So we got 96 ping to 98 ping, which is, um, I think this is reasonable. Oh, 100 ping. This is some reasonable ping. I think we can work with this as long as it doesn't get too high. Oh, that's not looking yummy. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go straight to the scrump and then go down to the crab. 110 ping, okay. Our ping's kinda, it's bouncing, it's bouncing. I think we might actually have some lag this game, but I'm not ever gonna let lag stop me from being the awesome player I need to be. So we are running for a early gank bottom. So if we can get an early gank bottom, that'll be the 300 gold that we need for our boots. I am gonna go ahead and smite this, and the reason why I'm smiting this isn't because of how hard it is to kill, it's because I want the time to get the bot lane. Because they're hitting level two, which means they're gonna go aggro, which means that I get a chance to get in here. Even if they feed first blood, that's okay. I still get a uh, 300 gold for my boots. Okay, there's our double. And we're actually not gonna shove this. We're gonna let him have that gold. And we gotta go back immediately, and we gotta buy our boots. And so we also have to decide what kind of build are we gonna get. I'm actually gonna go crit this game. Because crit works pretty well with Predator. And I'm going to go for the warrior build. Um, instead of skipping the jungle item, I'm gonna go warrior because typically I've been skipping the jungle item. And I think it's time that we build a jungle item. I don't think the warrior is like inherently bad. It's really not. I think that the extra AD is quite powerful. Especially with the... Okay, so he just took my red, so we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna go up top. Okay, I have no idea what this Renekton is doing. Does he not have dash? Uh, okay. Yeah, so we actually lost our red. I was trying to get there to help him out, but it was a no work. So yeah, we have to buy the boots immediately so that we can get Predator. And the blue smite is picked up because uh, red smite got nerfed recently. It doesn't get vision anymore. I don't think uh, red smite's that good. I think blue smite's currently the uh, smite of choice unless you absolutely need to duel somebody. So we can actually gank this using Predator. Um, but actually, I don't even think we need Predator. I don't think it's warded. And if we use Predator, we actually uh, waste a lot of it on the Shroud. Because we're going to go in. She's bouncing back. Oh, shit. What, what is it? We just, like, literally walked past each other. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and back. And the reason why we're going to back here is because there's no red. And this is up. And bot lane showing themselves to be an easier gank as well as mid. So we can go back and we can purchase. We also need to fill up our HP. I'm also going to buy a Sweeper. So that I can get into the lanes knowing that they're not warded. And I'm gonna eat a piece of cheese. Cheese. So we're looking for a gank. Basically, when you have Predator, anytime Predator's up, you're looking for a gank. I think this could work. Mm, maybe not. Like, if bot lane could shove. Okay, we don't even need a Predator this, I think. He's coming over to this bush. So let's go and blue smite him. Uh, we're just gonna get him low. He's gonna have to back off of that. And then what we can do is we can gank bottom. So we are going to go ahead, grab our boots, and run straight bottom. Oh, shh. Let's go. Uh, they're not, they're not biting. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply the predator hit. Alpha strike out. So we're just trying to help bot lane any way that we can. At least we got that predator hit out of the way. So now we're gonna go do our clear. <clears throat> we need to drop this Poro somewhere. I haven't decided yet. Let's go ahead and uh, kill this. Out the strike. So we might want to meditate. Oh man, it looks like bot's gonna die. That's unfortunate. Well, let's just get our clear out of the way until our predator is back up again. Looks like Renekton's dead too. So we're behind in kills at the moment. Max and that alpha strike for the lower cooldown. Not necessarily the damage, though the damage isn't bad when you're building like a crit master yeet. Right, let's keep moving. Uh, the Krug should be up soon. I didn't time them. I didn't time this either. So that's probably about eight minutes on the Grom. Anytime you can time your camps, you should probably do that. Sometimes I forget though. Okay, so our Krugs are up. So we got ourselves a pretty nice clear going on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and meditate, chug a pot, keep myself high on that HP. <clears throat> so we did pass by a pink ward in the bot lane, so we have to remember that that's there. Let's go ahead and grab this Krug. 
So I am actually going to smite this uh, for the extra HP and also the killing speed. Akali should be showing herself in top lane soon. Another point in Q. Just keeping an eye on the minimap down here, seeing what's going on. So let's go ahead and start heading top. We're going to also sweep it. Just to make sure there's no wards here. Because she also wasted her shroud. And since we know there's no ward when the shroud disappears, we can uh, go for this here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Akali's dash distance, huh? Uh, we're just going to help him shove this because we don't have anything to do. In oh, God. Okay, well, I ignited her. Okay, I I'd say that's worth. I did not expect her to go all Rambo on that, but all right. <laughs> I'll take it. We didn't have anything else to do, so as I was saying. We had nothing else to do, so we don't mind wasting time in the top lane. Let's go ahead and grab the hammer, sell that, grab ourselves a dagger. So I am actually going to go Berserker Greaves this game. Uh, usually you want to go like something like Tabby's. But I just want to do some of the damage. So let's go down here. Uh, we're going to check this blue buff. I'm hoping the Zinzal didn't take it. And we got about like 15 to 20 seconds on our Gromp. Give or take. For a second there, I thought Karthus was going to take my blue. Hey, you better not take my blue, this is my blue! Alternatively, if we really want something to do, we can go for the uh, dragon. Oh, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, she has flash. Okay, let's go ahead and sweep this. And uh, we're also going to go for this ward over here. Oh god, it's a Zen. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh man, I could have lived. That was so close. Okay, I did not see that coming, but that worked out really well for us. I like how he's attacking into the wall. Okay, we have a double buff Ezreal. He could win this. I don't want to watch. Hey, he won it. Nice. Okay, so we have Warrior now, and we also have a full jungle. Um, so you can usually... So like, we have this choice here. Do we want to do the dragon while we have pressure because people are dead? Or do we rather clear our jungle and then do the dragon when we have no jungle? Right? Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear the jungle. I wanna get all this farm out of the way as soon as possible, right? And plus, it's like, it's not like they're dead for that long, so it doesn't really matter. But like, typically you could do the dragon as soon as you get your upgraded smite and plus two of the items. Or even one of the items. So if you have like a red smite, like, you don't even, like, once you upgrade your smite, you can do a dragon. Now, the sky dragon's a bit harder, but... Like, level 3 plus a smite, dragon's easy peasy. Alright, let's keep moving. We're gonna clear this jungle, and also we want to time that Gromp for 1130. And we're just getting nice and fed. So what's the first item we're gonna buy? We're probably just gonna rush an Infinity Edge. Hey, that guy's just helping me out. I can appreciate that. Do you think he took my red? I wasn't even looking. I hope not. Let's go ahead and do some sweeps, see if he ends up in that bush up here. Okay, so he's not here. If he was here, that red would have walked away when I alpha striked it. So we just want to kill that as soon as possible. Keep moving upwards. And let's go ahead and grab this. So we can look at, like, ganking top lane. Akali is a really hard gank, though. Uh, we need to burn this predator, though. So the whole reason we have predator is for these early ganks, right? So we need to burn this predator on a lane. So I'm going to go use it down here. It's my favorite place to use it right now. Let's go ahead and, um, you know, I could actually afford a zeal, so I'm going to do that. Like, typically I'd like to rush the IE, but because I have just enough for the zeal, I feel like it'd totally be worth grabbing. And we're going to go down to the dragon. If we can't gank bottom, we'll get the dragon. If we can't gank bottom, then we'll use uh, Predator. Alternatively, we could also gank mid. We know the Zenzel's top, so we're not really too worried about it. Uh, we still need to pop down this uh, ward, and we also need to pop down our Poro. So let's go over here. So let's kill this. Let's put the Poro in the enemy jungle. Wait for our combat. Put the Poro here. We're going to clear these raptors while we can. The enemy bot lane is Mia. So we're going to leave one raptor here so that it takes longer for them to spawn. Alternatively, you can kill them all and time it if you think you're coming back. I don't think I am coming back. Um, so we're going to actually Predator for this. Yeah, Windwall doesn't work. Sorry, mate. Ooh, whoops. 
Hey man, free jungle farm is free jungle farm. What can I say? So we're gonna go ahead and do a sweep through here. I doubt there's anything, but you know, I'll forget to use my sweeper anyway, so it's fine. We're gonna go ahead and uh, grab this plant. And there's really not much for us to do, so we want to get down to the boss side where our minions are spawning and the crab's spawning. And we can start working on our item. Uh, so since we already have the zeal, I'm going to go ahead and rush the shiv. Otherwise, as I mentioned, I'd probably rush IE. It's just really... Like, a lot of people ask, when do you buy what? And it's like, if I have enough money to buy something that's a bigger item, I'll typically buy it. And if I don't, then I'll typically buy the other item, right? So, like, my fall 2 item here would be like an IE. But if I go back and I have enough for the shift components, like if I have 600 gold, I'll buy a shift component. Okay, so he got the crab. So at this point, the dragon is fast enough that if we wanted to... No! He left me to die! <laughs> I thought we were gonna go ham! Oh no. Well, that was really unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> that was also very unfortunate. Okay, I'm very sad about that. Okay, anyway. At this point, I'm just going to use Predator to get out into the dragon more quickly because they're all low HP. So the sooner I get out of here, the better. Uh, that was a pretty good juke by him, but yeah. So at this point, you don't need to do a full clear before the dragon, because you want to kill that dragon. Uh, you kill the dragon really, really quickly now. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk right past this, and we're going to bait it. Because they know that I'm here. Because I walked past the uh, crab, right? But the thing is, is like, Zenzel's so low on HP, he can't do anything about it. And if he does, then he risks suiciding, and we could also get the dragon on top of that. We're, we're forcing something to happen here. Okay, so we got that. Yeah, so the dragon is like super fast to the point where you don't have to do a full clear anymore. Once you get your jungle item, you can really do the dragon anytime you want, whether or not you have a full clear. Oh god, the lag. Yeah, it took me forever to attack that because I was lagging. It's okay, guys. It's okay. No lag has ever kept me in Diamond 2. Don't worry. Yo, thank you, Belidi, for the $15, man. Much appreciated. Thank you, man. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. All right, so we're gonna finish this Gromp and put it on the 1630. Uh, we could gank bottom. I don't have Predator yet. <coughs> I would honestly just rather get my clear because we can also go back and buy a Shiv and our minions are all respawning. <coughs> Choking on saliva here. It would just be really, really nice to clear all this. Come on, come on. Everybody's pinging for help. You just gotta remember, guys. Oh boy, I can't do anything with that mid. Yeah, they might be going for my red. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, right, that was really, really... I think there was a ward here. I'm also gonna lose my red off of that one. We do have our shiv. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that they would dive him, but they just kind of walked around. They didn't know what they were going to do. Hey, we saved Renekton. At the end of the day, that's all that mattered. Maybe not. Easy. <laughs> See, that's what I expected to happen. I don't know. Alright, we want to save up for this IE. I don't know if he took my red. I think he did, though. The way, How long he was gone there. But Predator's on such a short cooldown once you get all five stacks that you can kind of use it to go wherever you want. So I know my Krugs are probably still up. Oh! What is this? So we're having a really hard time with their group now. And the Kali's just not a champion that you wanted. Oh, he took my Krugs. That's so weird. He took my Krugs over the other thing. Yeah, so this was definitely warded. I should have swept it when I came in. Okay, that's not warded, but we don't know where his team is, so we kind of don't want to risk it. Um, let's go ahead and pop a Poro here. We're waiting for a Kali to come out. Oh, come on, man. She freaking jumped over the wall. <laughs> 
Why does everybody keep leaving me? Nobody wants to commit, man. Oh, maybe they can kill him. If Ezreal can hit some skill shots, they can kill him. They're not gonna kill him. Oh! Come on, Ezreal, I believe. Oh. I mean, hey, this is actually gonna be a really close game, though, I feel. Okay, Ezreal got Kai'Sa, he's dead. That's okay, though. They're all pretty squishy. They don't really have a tank. Akali's probably the biggest problem. This will be a good crate game. Oh, man. Yeah, I can't really defend that. I need some team here. We're getting close to that BF sword, though. I cannot defend that. I need a teammate. Nice. Yeah, so Xin Zhao kind of overstayed his welcome there. Uh, we almost have enough for this BF sword. Also, the Earth Dragon's up soon. So I think what we should do is let our team know that I want that Earth Dragon, right? Also, alternatively, I would really like to get my Krugs, but I can't. I have to go for this dragon be before Xin Zhao respawns. Alright, it'd be really nice if everybody came here. Because I do not have the El Smite Arena. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go grab this. Oh, nope. Let's not grab that. <laughs> let's just get out of here. I really want my BF Sword. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. So we're going to be losing some pressure here on this mid lane if Karsis can't defend this. I will have enough for a BF Sword now, though. Yeah, so we have to go try and defend mid. I do have Highlander. No home guards. Jeez, not 20 minutes yet. That's okay, that's okay. I can one-shot maybe... Yeah, I can one-shot a lot of these guys. And my Alpha Strike, if it uh, crits, that'll be doing some deeps. That'll be doing some deeps indeed. Okay, so we know where they're all at. They're all sitting in that jungle. Being all sneaky and stuff. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do some sweeping. Be careful walking towards these bushes. Make sure to sweep it the best that we can. And let's grab our Krugs. Okay, let's grab this. So we still need 160 gold to get our 20% crit. So right now we're sitting on 25%. Um, we do know that... Can we get a ward there? There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a Poro there. It doesn't really matter. We know that these are about to respawn because our wolves just respawned. And we typically clear these in order. I imagine that I probably did. Well, this gives me a good chance to sweep around. Well, if all else fails, we just wait for our red to respawn then. I guess I didn't kill them in order. Unfortunately, we're going to lose those as well. Hmm. Hopefully at least ults. Why is his ult on cooldown? Did he use it? So, we actually need people probably top lane. Oh, there they are. Well, I'll take my red. So the reason why I'm taking my red is I have a little bit of fear that they're going to come. Oh, wow, they're doing Baron. They left the Blast Plan up. You should never leave the Blast Plan up when you're doing Baron. Right? <laughs> like, never leave the Blast Plane up when you're doing Baron. Now, they still won that fight, but they didn't get Baron, so worth. Yeah, so in future reference for anybody that's doing Baron, just kill the Blast Plant. Like, there's no reason to leave a Blast Plane up like that. Because without that Blast Plant, there would have been no way for me to get into Baron. We're going to finish off this. Oh. So we, we don't want to go near him until we have our cooldowns. Oh, you... <laughs> Come on! Oh, that item though? Oh my goodness. I'm so tilted. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yo, I'm just a feeder this game. Like, you guys look at my desk, okay? I have 4-7. 
but I'm controlling objectives. I got us Baron, I got us the double Earth Dragons, I got us some early game pressure. I'm doing my job, I'm doing my job. It doesn't matter what my score is. And yeah, I may not be able to split push because honestly, Crit Yi isn't the best for split pushing. He's more of a team fighter. Renekton is handling that split push quite nicely. So let's go ahead and grab these Zerker Greaves because we have 800 gold for it. This is what I was talking about earlier. If you have gold for something, typically you want to buy it. Like, you don't always have to use Predator for ganks or getting in. Like, you could be split pushing and use the Predator to get into the game, right? And it's a pretty short cooldown, so don't feel terrible about you. Jeez. That Ezreal damage, yo. Okay, so we are handing off the blue to Karthus. I don't really need it. I only take the blue, really, for the EXP and gold. If your mid laner really needs it, you know, just give it to him. Like, I should have been giving Karthus the blue this whole game. So now we're going to start pushing with this double Earth Dragon. So watch his damage. Boink, boink. So we're doing like 250, 240 damage. Oh my goodness. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and Alpha Strike this guy when he respawns. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> you go all in. You know, once you're in, you're in. That was a bit, that was a bit ballsy there from Rackon, of course. I'll kill the tower. Come on, man. Yeah, Ezreal just left him. He's like, nah. But his dash should be up soon, right? This Ezreal's actually doing quite well. It's not too often that you have Ezreal's do all that damage. So we have another Earth Dragon coming up, and we also have Baron. So with the double Earth Dragon, double Earth Dragons will make this Baron really, really easy. So Baron's definitely worth uh, contesting here. Let's grab the IE, which should help us in the team fights. And we're also going to look at what item we buy now, right? So, actually, I've been really liking the new Essence Reaver as another pickup here, or some type of lifesteal. So, I would go either like Death Dance or Essence Reaver. I'm gonna go the Essence this game, um, since I have a bunch of uh, carries on my team. Like, I have this Renekton, this Karthus, and this Ezreal. What I could do is I can just go deep as I want, suicide, and then have them clean up. So. We're just gonna go ahead and go through with the sweep. Sweep with that. Oh, oh. Yo, lag walked me into that tornado, I'm just saying. Lag walked me into that tornado. Okay, so we're gonna keep that blast plan up. Yeah, remember, we want that blast. We also need to find a place to pop that Poro. I haven't been putting it down very much this game, but it is what it is, it is what it is. So you could alternatively, instead of Poro, if you find yourself not using Poro, like if you're using Poro as little as I am this game, you could go Eyeball Collection. Like if I had Eyeball Collection this game, it would be maxed out. Uh, but sometimes Eyeball Collection ends up not getting stacked at all, right? I typically like to use the Poro more for vision and less for the extra AD though. But if I can get both at the same time, that's pretty good. Like right here would be a pretty good place to pop this Poro. Boink. And the Poro gives like, what, 10 AD? Compared to, I think Eyeball Collection gives 18. So the thing is, is even if this isn't like the best game in the world, right? Sometimes just watching games where people don't perform well will help you when you, like, think about it. If you're playing a game where you're like 10 and 1, do you really need help in learning how to win that game, right? I find that the hardest time to win a game is when you're behind, right? So it helps to see it from a behind kind of perspective. So we're just going to keep clearing this. Oh. So we do want this Baron, but we can't do it because we're not Rageblade. If we were Rageblade, we could do it. I still think that Rageblade, personally, is the better build. I do think crit is a lot of fun, but Rageblade is personally the better build in my opinion. But if we have Renekton tank this, it'll be no problem. So we're just going to do a sweep. Especially when you sweep as many wards as I have. That's a free uh, an eyeball collection there. So, But the double Earth Dragon will make this Baron really, really easy, especially with Renekton tanking. And we do have some lifesteal from our uh, jungle item. Oh, what is going on here? Oh yeah, the alpha bounces. Oh yeah, I'm on fire, boys. Yo, I want that Penta. Oh, they're all dead. Yeah, finally popping off. Positive KD, boys. Kootsatch. Kootsatch. 
Yes, the dick chewing is Samsung. Thank you. Sounds like Samsung. So we're just gonna go to smite that because we don't have enough. But I think that like with crit alpha strike is really, really fun. Like right, like alpha strike on hit is just really, really bad. Oh, uh, look at this damage with those earth dragons. Mmm. And there's another one coming up. I imagine Karthus can handle it though. Yeah, but <laughs> without this uh, lifesteal, it's really, really hard for us to heal up here. I don't know why my team's trying to end. I mean, maybe they can. I personally wouldn't have the balls to do that, but it looks like, oh, oh I don't know. I don't know. I guess they got it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to get the inhibitor. You guys keep doing you. You guys keep doing you. Free win. Free win. But yeah, so like the thing about Alpha Strike with the crit build is that Alpha Strike can actually crit. So when you're running like a full crit Alpha Strike, like you bounce on multiple targets for like 600 or 700 damage, right? Especially if they have no armor. So in a team fight, your Alpha could do over 2000 damage, right? In one Alpha. And then if you get a kill, you Alpha again for another 2000 or 1500 damage, right? So I think crit does make Alpha Strike a lot more fun. Now, in that game, we didn't get to see much of Ignite. So, Ignite is more... What the heck is this? Bia Kam Zip Hang Kia 1. Uh-huh. Thank you. I don't know what that means, but I appreciate it. I'm only Kim Kwang 2. Feels bad, man. Um, but, yeah. So, like, I do think that, like, um, Alpha Strike with Crit's a lot of fun. But... Oh, yeah. The Ignite. So, the Ignite, I didn't get to use much Ignite. But I think Ignite really helps your early game and gets you going so that you can afford those crit items and things like that. Thank you, Jason Prisco. Much appreciated, dude. Alternatively, <clears throat> instead of going like Ignite, you could also go Flash and then you can Flash on the people with an Infinity Edge crit and an Alpha Strike. That's also an option. I like the Ignite for the early game now. I think it's a lot of fun. Well, maybe try them both, see which one you like more. Okay, anyway, I think that will do for my Vietnamese diamond 2 game we will get this count the masters eventually soon <laughs> my win rate is catching back up don't worry don't worry <laughs>